Welcome to the physics le lecture series. In this lecture, we will discuss about elasticity. First of all, we have to know about matters. We already know about matters. And the matters are com classified as solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. So, this is the classification of matters and we know matters are composed of teeny atoms or molecules. So, matters are composed of teeny atoms. So, this is composed with tiny atoms. We know about atoms. <coughs> so, due to the variation of intermolecular forces, matters are classified as above. So, this actually uh, classified as the because of the intermolecular forces intermolecular forces okay because of this intermolecular force matters are classified as solid liquid and gas so <coughs> in solids the intermolecular force is very strong in solid intermolecular force is very strong by applying external force it is difficult to deform solid the separation between molecules in solid changes slightly when external force is applied so when we apply external force and if we can make this inter uh, if this force is greater than if this force is greater than intermolecular force then some deformations is happened in solid material okay due to this change in molecular separation the shape size and configuration of a solid are changed which are absent in liquid and gas so these uh, intermolecular changes are absent in liquid and gas and in this chapter we will discuss about this intermolecular flows force explanation of elasticity and different elastic constant of materials we all also discuss about hooke's law poisson's ratio elastic potential energy etc so we'll discuss these things in this chapter now again <coughs> as i described uh, uh, earlier all matters are composed with tiny atoms or we can say these tiny particles so for this we have to know two terms one is inter molecular space space and intermolecular force We have to know these two terms. So, we know molecules are treated as small spheres. So, like molecules are treated as this, this small spheres. This is like a sphere. Okay. Which are the building blocks of a material. During the formation of matter, these molecules stay close to each other. These molecules are stays close to each other. So, it will be look like this. Like this space is very small. Tiny small. Tiny space. Uh, so, when these molecules stay close to each other, we will have some vacant space between these molecules. See, this vacant space. This is the vacant space. This vacant space between molecule is called intermolecular space so vacant space between molecules is known as intermolecular space and this space uh, is actually uh, in measurement it will be like 10 to the power minus 9 meter or 10 to the power minus 10 meter this is the range for solid uh, matter this distance between molecule uh, is actually uh, uh, I describe this 10 inverse 9 meter or 10 inverse 10 meter. 
being separated by this distance there exists a force of attraction between molecules so there is there remains a force of attraction force of attraction okay this force is called intermolecular force so what is intermolecular force the force of attraction between force of attraction between molecules or I can say particles is known as intermolecular force. If an external force is applied to a body for elongation or contraction, so there is two terms, one is elongation and another one is contraction. So we want these two terms because of some external force. The interatomic separation respectively increases or decreases. Okay. For elongation it will be increases and for contraction it will be decreases. Contraction. Okay. <clears throat> Due to Newton's third law of motion and inertia of the body the molecules try to restore their original equilibrium position. Okay, so do you, we can say that there will be uh, some restoring force between these ma uh, matters or solid matters. Consequently, property of elasticity is developed on the body. So, so for this force, like uh, for this uh, restoring force and external force, there will be a scenario which is actually described in this elasticity concept. I hope you understand the basic introduction and the basic concept of elasticity, how this elasticity actually happened, what is matter and what is intermolecular space and intermolecular force. Now, coming to the second part, which is known as intermolecular forces. There is two types of forces. One is the potential energy. This is potential energy of the molecules and this is thermal energy, the thermal energy of the molecules. So, what is potential energy of the molecules? It says that this is due to interaction with surrounding molecules. Interaction with surrounding molecules. Because suppose there is a molecule and there is a molecule. This interaction between the surrounding molecules, the energy or the uh, energy this uh, or or some energy that is stored is known as potential energy. Potential energy. Okay. And the second one is thermal energy. So, what is thermal energy? The thermal energy of the molecule says this. This energy is the kinetic energy of the molecules which depends on the temperature. So, when we uh, increase the temperature of uh, of uh, increase the temperature of some body, the molecules will be in motion. So, it will be in motion. For this motion, it creates a kinetic energy. A kinetic energy for this thermal energy is produced i hope you understand the intermolecular forces actually the relative magnitude of these two categories this these two categories the uh, these two categories determine the state of a material and this uh, these two uh, energies determine if it is solid, solid, liquid, or gas. So, and we can say that the relative magnitude of these two energies determine the state of the material, of a material. Now, let us discuss the nature of change of intermolecular force and potential energy due to the change of distance between molecules so we know matter consists of numerous molecules <coughs> in this section the y axis actually shows the potential energy which we represent as v and this x axis is represented as the distance between molecules which represented as r so this graph shows uh, 
uh, a uh, curve which is a b c d curve now we will discuss this a b c d curve the potential energy along the path b c d is negative so this path this path downwards the y axis x axis is actually negative path it's actually negative path now we can say that this is uh, potential uh, is negative okay and this ab is positive this ab is positive and this negative path is actually is a uh, the force between molecules is generally given by f is actually equals to minus dv by dr so this is the formula for force between molecules to calculate the force between molecules we use this formula which is the negative potential gradient so this is actually the negative negative potential gradient negative potential gradient i hope you understand so here we have to know this force along ab is actually a repulsive force this is repulsive force and this uh, force between this bcd path is actually attractive force this is attractive force okay and this curve is actually determined by this formula f equals to minus dv by dr here we see that our curve is uh, intersect this x axis in some point we denote this point is actually equals to r the value of r equals to unknown for which the potential energy is minimum that means in this section the potential energy is actually equals to potential energy is actually equals to zero or minimum <coughs> uh, corresponds to the stable or equilibrium spacing between the molecules this is actually known as the uh, stable or equilibrium spacing between the molecules this is a state at absolute zero where the thermal energy is zero at that point the thermal energy is zero thermal energy is actually equals to zero at this uh, at this separation the repulsive and attractive forces balance each other at that point when there will be a repulsive force or there will be an attractive force it actually balanced each other okay is actually balanced each other <coughs> I hope you understand. So, f equals to 0 at B, the graph of f against R is approximately a straight line near R0. At that point, this line is actually uh, looks like a straight line, this position. And this is the reason why elongation is proportional to the applied force, which is Hooke's law. At that point, so, in this uh, r equal in this r not position in this r not position our uh, hooks law can be applied uh, what is hooks, hooks, hooks law hooks law says that where elongation is proportional to the applied force we will discuss hooks law in our next videos as we pull a material by applying external force suppose this is a material this is a spring and when we pull this uh, spring by external force, the intermolecular spacing slightly increases beyond the point B. So the intermolecular the intermolecular space will be or the distance will be increases. So our R will be increases by applying external force at the point b so from this b our distance will be increases okay 
so the attractive force between the molecules bring them back to their equilibrium position so when we pull this string this is this spring this spring will again come to uh, want to wanted to come to its original position because of this attractive force we can see this bcd path there actually works an attractive force this force is actually the main reason why our uh, our uh, uh, solid material comes to its original shape okay on the other hand if the distance is decreases from r naught due to the contraction so so from that when we uh, when we apply some contraction when we apply some contraction or decreases decreases our length or decreases uh, 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 the intermolecular space the repulsive force between the molecules along lm brings back to the molecules to their equilibrium position so this actually at that path ab path there uh, occurs a repulsive force and when we push this uh, spring this spring wanted to come to its original equilibrium position at that point because of this repulsive force okay the repulsive force between the molecules along ab uh, path back to the molecules to their equilibrium position as soon as the force is withdrawn so when uh, this equilibrium system will be occurred when the force is when the force is actually or should i say force is uh, withdrawn okay so there is another point which says that the molecules will remain bound together as long as the restraining force increasing with the increasing separation okay when <clears throat> suppose after some point we take this point as z point from this oz point from this oz point our uh, in, our restoring will be occur so at uh, at this uh, if i say this uh, e point so from this z from this z to e point our restoring will be actually uh, happen and smoothly but when we go beyond this z point when the material is uh, past this z point or uh, suppose this uh, the, uh, when the intermolecular space is uh, beyond uh, is going uh, beyond this z point so what will be happen then the restoring will not be occurred anymore and hooke's law will be invalid hooke's law will be invalid if r is greater than oz so what is r r means the distance and what is the oz oz means this point to this point so hooke's law will be invalid for uh, for this point and this point is known as breaking point so from this a b c to e uh, e path our elasticity properties will be shown beyond this e our uh, elasticity property will not be shown and the uh, uh, the matter will be in the breaking point so uh, after this uh, e point the matter will be uh, will be deformed in plastic region and this is known as plastic region i hope you understand the basic concept of matter base and the elasticity elasticity uh, elasticity and we are uh, discuss about intermolecular force and space we also discussed the uh, <coughs> potential energy and the kinetic energy of intermolecular fo forces and we also know uh, saw a graph which is a uh, composed of elastic properties of matter uh, hope you understand our video uh, please like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you